Hello, my name is Amber and at the end of August I visited Architect Hair in Headingley. Architect Hair is a hairdressing salon offering the full range of hairdressing services for men and women in a friendly and welcoming environment. I'm going to interview Louise and Claire to find out more about getting into hairdressing. So Louise, when you're recruiting young people, what do you look for? Um, well, the first, first thing in the process, what you know, obviously people generally call us up. So the first thing is, is that they can, they can speak nicely on the phone. Yeah. Because my clients are very precious and I, and I need to look after my clients and I need people who are going to be polite. I need someone who looks good. Yeah. So they need to be well presented. Um, I need someone who is enthusiastic and, and has a little bit of a personality about them. And what's the application process you got through? Basically, they, they generally ring us up. Um, we then either ask them to download an application form from the website and send it in to us. Um, and then we come in for an interview and we go from there. And then once we generally find that we have hundreds of phone calls which materialise into a few interviews, yeah. which then materialise into probably two or three people who we have in for a day's trial. Right. And then we make the decision on that process. And is there anything in particular when you're looking at CVs or applications that you think are good, specifically? That someone can write well, yeah. that they can spell, um, that they've obviously taken time over it, that they've thought about it. So many people, you know, you'd think they were applying for, you know, they haven't actually thought, what does this person want yeah. from an employee? You know, and they've not really applied it to, well, what would she want me to do? And also, on the other hand, what would you say is bad, do you know, in the application? Oh, it's been scruffy, badly thought out, bad spelling, bad grammar. Um, you know, things like that, just, just to take, you know, I, I would suggest that anybody filling in an application form or writing a letter, you know, write out one copy yeah. and then, you know, get somebody else to check it. And what kind of um, questions would you ask somebody in an interview? Um, what they think they'd like to be a hairdresser, um, what, the, what they think makes a good hairdresser, um, do they think that they've got those, those attributes, um, and also a lot of people tend to, to have quite wrong ideas about what a hairdresser yeah. does. One, it's very, very hard physical work. Right. You need to be a fit person, you know, and, and it is hard work. Uh, you also need to be very, very sociable. You need to be reasonably outgoing. Um, you need to have a strong sense of, of how you look and how you behave. Uh, it's always a combination of so many things, you know, you're kind of, generally I can judge whether we will take on a person within about five seconds of them walking through the door. Yeah, and finally, um, would you like to give any advice to any apprentices for? Uh, research where you want to work, go for, an, go for an interview, um, maybe go and get your hair cut there. So Claire, how, how did you get your job? Um, well, basically I just put the um, just put sound and leads into Google and just looked through and this one kept cropping up, so I thought I'd just give it a try and see what I found. <laughs> oh. And then, um, is this the only opportunity you've gone for or did you look for other places before? I did look for a couple of other places. I did use places like, you know, Gumtree. Yeah. And um, they had quite a few salons on and I did go for a couple of other interviews. And what application process did you go through to get this job? Um, well, I sent the salon my CV and like a small email and um, then she called me back and asked me for an interview and then I did a trial there and then she asked me if I wanted the job. Um, and what, were there any specific qualifications or skills that you needed? Um, not really, just to be like, just have like good people skills and to have a keen interest in hairdressing. Um, it starts off with just like basically just like shampooing and maybe conditioning treatments and like looking after clients and stuff like that. And then when you've been here a few months, you start to like learn how to use computer for reception and booking appointments in and learning how to remove colours and stuff like that and it just builds up as yeah. you go along. And is it something you'd like to do in the future? Yeah, I'd love to do it in the future. I'd love to become a stylist and yeah, have big clientele and do loads of amazing haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> and then, lastly, what would what advice would you give to other young people looking for apprenticeships? Um, 
if you're going to do it, go for it as soon as you leave school because it's the easiest route to get into an apprenticeship is to do it straight from school. Because it's, as you get older, it's so much harder to get on get onto the ladder. I'd also advise people to just send as many CVs out as they physically possibly can because the people who um, people who shout and the people who get hurt, not the people who stand there in the corner waiting for things to happen for them. You've got to make it happen for yourself.